In this lesson, we'll briefly touch on how to use the Envy's nonlinear stretch, saving in-depth discussion on customization for a later lesson. Nonlinear stretch, or NLS for short, is used to reduce or eliminate black bars on your display. Our NLS fits any aspect ratio content to any aspect ratio screen. In short, NLS enhances immersion by making full use of your screen. Furthermore, our patent pending technology uniquely combines dual axis adjustments, integrating horizontal stretching with vertical compression to fill the entire screen while maintaining a very natural appearance. For instance, if you're using a scope screen, NLS can eliminate black bars when viewing 16x9 content. And on 16x9 screens, NLS can minimize or eliminate the large black bars at the top and bottom when watching a scope movie. With a scope screen, many viewers prefer NLS for all content, while others reserve it just for sports. And with a 16x9 screen, some prefer to eliminate half of the black bars, recovering much of the lost immersion otherwise. NLS is also useful for movies that switch aspect ratios, maintaining a consistent fill across your screen if that's how you prefer to watch it. Either way, the Envy handles changes in aspect ratio instantly and seamlessly without ever needing to change your lens zoom position. With NLS, you can also combine zoom and crop along with the stretch for optimal results. Let's take a look at how to quickly enable and tweak NLS. To activate NLS, go to the Profile menu and select the NLS Profile group. I'll choose Smart Fit for Scope Screens. As you can see, the image now perfectly fills the screen using our recommended NLS configuration while still appearing very natural. We'll cover how to fully customize the look of NLS in an upcoming lesson. Adjustments might be necessary based on specific content. For example, when watching sports on a scope screen, you might find a ticker or scoreboard is cut off a bit on the top or bottom, just like in our example here. This occurs because in our default settings, we apply a slight amount of zoom and crop along with the stretch. It's therefore common to adjust the amount of zoom based on the specific content, which can then be quickly changed through the custom zoom settings menu. We covered how to access this menu in a prior lesson. To have the full ticker back on screen, I'll simply reduce the right and bottom zoom a bit. Now you can see the ticker fits just fine. These updated settings can be saved to the base layer, but you might find different settings are needed for other content. Alternatively, a universal less aggressive zoom setting or no zoom at all can be used to eliminate the need for fine tuning. As another trick, you might find a ticker distracting. If so, you can zoom it off the screen entirely for a more immersive experience that requires even less stretch, like this. We recommend assigning a remote control button to your Envy to easily toggle NLS on and off. This not only comes in handy when first testing it out, but also for easily turning it on and off as desired based on the content you're watching. There's an NLS toggle option in the Envy remote control setup. See the lesson on customizing the Envy remote control for more information. Watch as I toggle NLS on and off a few times. We'll cover customizing NLS in detail in an upcoming lesson. Now that you know the basics for using NLS, it's time to move on to our next lesson.